Hey guys, and welcome to MagWorks Screencasts. In this video, we'll show you how to configure the order management extension for Magento 2. This will let you overview all the order data in one place and manage the orders conveniently without having to cancel them. Let's get started. To reach the functionality, go to Sales, Operations, Orders. Here, select an order you wish to change and click View to access order info. By default, if you select Edit to make changes to the order, the existing one will be canceled. So, after you make modifications, you'll have to create a new order instead. We don't need it. Thus, nope, no thank you. As you can see, order information is displayed in several blocks. Check out the new functionality. Now you get to edit payment information. In this one, you can change the following variables. Date, status, and state. Then, click either Cancel or Submit to disable or enable the changes. The extension also enables you to modify account information. That's where you can select shoppers and assign them to specific customer groups. With the module, you get to edit billing address, shipping address, shipping and handling information, as well as make changes to the ordered items, including price and quantity. In fact, you can easily add more products to the order upon the customer's request. After you click the Add Products button, a new grid will appear. Here, you'll be able to conveniently add any product to the existing order, as well as specify how many items you need to add. After you're done editing, press the Add Selected Products to Order button to include more items if required. The Order Management extension allows editing payment information. Just click here to edit only the offline payment methods, such as cash on delivery or money transfer. Such limitations are due to the limitations of the Magento Core architecture. Then, you'll see the available offline payment methods. This one has been added by the extension. To change the default method, go here. Also with the module, you can easily specify how invoices or credit memos, shipments, and other order data will be updated. To do that, go to Stores, Settings, Configuration. Here, choose MagWorks, Order Management. Let's have a closer look at the Order Editor tab, which consists of three sections. In the first one, you can specify the way invoice and credit memos are updated. Thus, if you desire to keep the order's modification history, select Create New Invoice, if possible. If you don't need that data, choose the second option. Over here, in the second section, you can choose whether or not to return item to stock. This means that when you edit the quantity of the items in the specific order, the corresponding changes will be made to the stock data. And last but not least, you can choose to recalculate the shipping amount automatically. Let's add sections to the default sales orders grid. To do that, go to Sales, Operations, then click Orders. This will let you analyze each order in greater detail. The Column section is just what we need. You'll see four tabs here. Within each tab, you can choose specific extra values to include into your custom grid. They get displayed right after you tick them off. You can easily uncheck the unnecessary boxes the same way. The configuration logic for the rest of the three tabs is just the same. As you can see, with the new columns, you get access to more data on each order. Coupon codes, taxes, refunds, SKUs, detailed shipping details, and any customer data associated with this order. The selected columns appear and disappear right away. That's how the standard Magento 2 orders grid versus the extended one looks side by side. Second, you get to add more options to the standard list of order mass actions to better manage any order info. To apply mass actions, check off the orders you need and click Please Select drop-down menu. The extension automatically extends the available mass actions by 28 operations, such as completing orders, resending order email, or deleting an order completely. Then, follow the instructions. Also, you can import sales order data from some external source and synchronize it with the data in your store. To do that, 
Go to Stores, Configuration, Orders Grid, Main Settings. Here, press the Manually Synchronize Data button and congrats, you're all set. Stay tuned as more updates are on the way, such as order archiving, color markers, and comments. Still got questions? Feel free to check out the user manual and contact our awesome support team.